And then next we go back to volatility surface. Now I think this is quite unique uh, for uh, you know obstra here. I think no no one else has this particular feature. Now what is this feature is that we are tracking the implied volatility of options of uh, three or four expiries weekly as well as monthly expiries in the case of indices. So if you look at this. Uh, this chart, right? So here what we do is that anything below. Uh, the. Uh, other money strike price, uh, the spot price or the future price. We take the implied volatilities of options and above we take implied volatility of call options and then we plot this. And we do for multiple expiries. Okay. And if you look here, this in the front is the 27 Jan expiry. And on the side, you can see this. Uh, this is a heat uh, signal mm. that you know the the bluish means it's, it's relatively speaking, the IVs are very less. Correct. The mid mid or mid to blue means the IVs are slightly high. And yellow to orange to red means very high. Now this is an anomaly because it's a kind of some kind of in the money option or something like that. To do that, you know, they calculates very high. And again, uh, budget because maybe because of budget. Uh, yeah. Approaching. Yeah, but if you look here, if you look here at the expiry, so now in the front is this is a 27 Jan expiry. Hmm. They are depressed. But on the third January, the third February here, this particular line, you see, the right. IVs are elevated. They are around 21, 22, like that. 23. Right. You can clearly see the 27 Jan. It's are 18 or 19, somewhere around. Here 23, 22 around that. So what it signifies is that the budget is playing a role for the elevated IVs. For these strike prices. Yeah. So that is why you see this kind of 3D you know, elevation in IVs. Yeah, just for the information of viewers, because this might be viewed later on. So today is 22nd January and the budget is on 1st February. Yes. Yeah. So that is why you know that the 3rd February. Sorry, 23rd will, January today. Yeah. Yeah, the, the 3rd February will have that, you know, the expiry. All the expiry speculation in that particular uh, weekly options. So the IVs will be very high. So you know somebody can devise some strategies based on this IV differential. You know this has very high IVs, yeah. and uh, the monthly one, or even the 10th, 10th February one, are slightly lower IVs than the 3rd February IV. So maybe a so, calendar strategy. Yeah, something like that. Calendars or long calendars or something like that. So people can use that kind of uh, uh, strategies for this. So that was a reason that you know this particular uh, implied volatility surface has been plot plotted in a three-dimensional mode because you cannot see this kind of picture in any other way. You cannot see it in 2D. Then you have to have two tables side by side. Otherwise, you will not be able to see this differential in different expiries. Right. And here, one more thing, if you see here, as you go to out of the money expiry options, the IVs go up. Hmm. Right. And this is a normal phenomenon. You know, we call this volatility smile. Right. Because out of the money options have more higher high V. Because they have higher extrinsic uh, premium. Correct. So they have higher uh, premium. And the, the one which is close to at the money will have lower in sticks in, in uh, extrinsic, uh, extrinsic uh, value, yeah. relative uh, uh, extrinsic value, and therefore uh, the IVs are very less. So that's why it's a very interesting uh, thing. 
so sometimes you know you have this kind of opportunities that are presented and uh, people can look at these things and try to formulate some strategies yeah. and you know this also comes into picture when there is uh, the rbi uh, event oh yes right and there can also be events in stocks for example uh, i don't know maybe tcs i'm not sure no tcs uh, already result has gone so yeah maybe maruti Maybe you can select Bank Nifty because not just the budget. After the budget, there is a RBI policy also. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> the calls are uh, here. The calls are usually in premium. Correct. Not the puts. Oh yes. Not the puts. If you look at the current uh, strike price, this is around uh, this right, thirty-seven thousand six hundred. Yeah. So these are the below the put option IVs here, and the call options you can see huge. Hmm. Mm. Very interesting. <laughs> I mean, you can see huge differential, and then it goes down. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So you can find you know this kind of. Uh, Huge differentials in implied volatility, and you can exploit using calendar strategies. So maybe that will be another video, like you know how you yeah, can use. Yeah, of course. But uh, we need to stress here: this is not some something which uh, beginners can do. You need to understand yeah. how this yeah. moves, and you need exactly. to be aware of what are the pros and cons, and don't uh, jump into this uh, without knowing the intricacies. Yeah, yeah. These are for much advanced traders. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So this is for the implied volatility surface of a multiple expiries of a index or stock. 